Okay, this section is called Relating Graphs to Events. Let's look at this, uh, this graph and interpret the graph. The graph at the right shows the altitude of a helicopter during a flight. Remember, altitude is how high something is. When is the altitude increasing? Well, according to this, it says altitude is increasing from 0 to 10 minutes. Look over here. From 0, it goes up until it gets to 10 minutes. So it's increasing from 0 to 10 minutes. When is the altitude decreasing? Well, we come over here and we look. It starts at 10 and it goes down, decreasing, until it gets to 20. When is the change of altitude linear? Well, that means when is it a line, okay? When is it a line, a straight line? So we look at this. This is not a straight line from 0 to 5. So from 0 to 5 is called nonlinear, nonlinear, right here. See? 0 to 5, nonlinear. From 5 to 10 is a straight line. So that's a linear change. And then from 10 to 20 is a linear change. So that is a, that is a, the change in altitude is linear. We'll learn more about that in just a second. Drawing a graph makes it easier to analyze data. You can use a line graph, which is what this is right here, a line graph, because you use lines to draw the thing. There are also bar graphs, okay? You know what a bar graph looks like. You can use a line graph to see if data is increasing or decreasing and if a change in data is linear or nonlinear. We just spoke about the linear and nonlinear. Remember, linear is whenever you have a straight line and nonlinear is whenever it's not a straight line. It has some curve to it. Change in data is linear if it forms a straight line when it's graphed. And if the data does not form a straight line when graphed, then it's change is nonlinear. Remember, the first four letters in the word linear are line. So it, if it is a line, a straight line, it is linear, okay? And if it's not a straight line, nonlinear. When you draw a graph without actual data, you're making a sketch, okay? A sketch is different from an actual graph because with the actual graph, you'll have numbers going on both sides. You'll have lines on the graph and... Uh, up and down lines on this one this is you just start from scratch and you write pulse rate on the left time on the bottom because Kim measured her pulse rate occasionally during a 45 minute workout the workout included a 10 minute warm-up period and a 10 minute cool down period sketch and label a graph showing her pulse rate during her workout so we put time on the bottom we put pulse rate on the left, and what we want to know is the workout included a 10-minute warm-up period. Okay, here, here we go. Right here, she's at her regular resting pulse rate. You don't start at zero, because if you start at zero, that would indicate that her pulse rate was zero. And if her pulse rate was zero, she would be dead. That's right. So uh, her pulse rate starts up around wherever. Hers could be 40, 50, 60, 70. Depends on her conditioning and uh, her age and things like that. So, but it starts up somewhere and then she starts warming up for 10 minutes. Okay, so her pulse rate goes up. Then when she gets to her workout, her workout maintains her pulse at a steady rate and then she cools down and her pulse rate comes down slowly and then it gets back to normal and it stays normal. Alright, let's look at one. You walk to your friend's house. For the first 10 minutes you walk from the home from home to a park. Okay, let's get a paper, I mean a pen, pen here. We'll do red. We'll start out with our graph. What we want to do, excuse me, what we want to do is label our graph. For the first 10 minutes you walk from home to park. From the next five minutes you walk from a ball game to the park. 
you watch a ball game in the park, and for the last five minutes you run to your friend's house. Sketch it and label a graph showing your distance from home during your trip. Okay, we're going to put time on the bottom. And over here we're going to put distance because it's measuring the distance that we are from home. Okay, now how far away from home are we when we start the trip? We're at home, so we're at zero distance away from home. It says for the first 10 minutes you walk from home to the park. So you walk from home to the park. Then it says for the next five minutes you stay at the park and watch a ball game. So you stay the same distance away from home. And then it says for the last five minutes you run to your friend's house. Well, if you run to your friend's house, you're going to be going faster than you were when you walked. So it will be a steeper line like this. Okay? So we walked at a slower pace. We stayed there for five minutes, and then we sped up by running to our friend's house for five minutes. Okay, let's look at this graph. When during the experiment is the temperature of the liquid increasing? Okay, from 10, it starts going up, going up, going up, going up until it gets to right here. So from 0 to 12 minutes it is increasing. When during the experiment is the temperature of the liquid decreasing? Well we look over here, at, this was its highest point at 12, then it starts going down until it gets to 24 here. So it decreases from 12 to 24. When during the experiment is the change in temperature linear? Remember, linear forms a line. Remember, it, it makes a straight line. So let's look at this. Straight line, no. Straight line, yes. So from 8 to 12, it's a straight line. And then from 12 to 16, it's a straight line. But from the rest of the way, it is a curved line, so that's all. When during the experiment is the change in temperature nonlinear? Well, it was from 0 to 8, and from 16 to 24. Okay, are you getting that part about linear and nonlinear? Linear is when it's a straight line, nonlinear is when it's not a straight line. In general, air temperature rises during the day and drops during the night. Sketch and label a graph showing the temperature during a 24-hour period. Now one thing you know about temperature is it very seldom increases the same amount every hour. So let's say that at, uh, we start at, oops, got to get a pen. Let's say that we start at 6 a.m. We go to 12 p.m and uh, then 6 p.m., 12 a.m., and then 6 a.m. All right, now on the bottom is our time, and on the left will be our temperature. Okay, it says in general, air temperature rises during the day. Now, are we going to start at zero? Well, probably not, because uh, unless you're at a place where it's very cold, okay? So let's start up around here. And the temperature will rise and rise and rise and rise until around 6 p.m., and then it starts getting co cooler and cooler and cooler and cooler until it's about where it was. So this is not a linear graph because the temperature doesn't increase the same amount all the time. That's what linear indicates to you, is that it's increasing or decreasing the same all the time. Haley took her dog to the park. She walked slowly to the park and then sat with a friend. Haley and her dog ran home together. 
sketch a graph showing their distance from home throughout the trip. All right, let's draw our graph, sketch our graph anyway. Isn't that a wonderful straight line right there? All right, so on the bottom we're going to put time. On the left we're going to put distance. She starts at home. She takes her dog to the park. She walks slowly to the park. I mean, she uh, sat with a friend, so she stayed the same distance from home. And then she ran home with her dog. Whoops, too much. Ran home with her dog. So she ran fast home to the dog with the dog. So you got to indicate that this was a slower pace than this one was, okay? All right, Maritza walks home from school, stopping at a friend's house on the way. Which graph would describe the total distance that she walked? Now think about this one, okay? But remember, she's always going to be getting further away because she's walking from home to school. So she starts at home, she gets further away the whole time. Which graph would that be? Okay, so... On this one, she walks, starts at home, walks for a while, stays the same distance away, and then goes back home. So this one would not be it. On this one, she starts away from home, because this would be at home, so this one is not it. On this one, she starts away from home. That would not be it. So it's this one right here. She starts at home, she goes towards school, stops at a friend's house, and then goes to school. Okay? Very good.